So right now, Marin Robu, this man right here, is 10th in the world. Patera Sayanak is 9th. Bodhi Centauri is bumped to 11th, which has bumped Nathan Damron to 12th. Yeah, I mean, that, that list lift here could even really just dash several of these athletes' hopes of getting into the Olympics. This would move Marin into 7th. Yeah, this is huge. It's a huge personal best for him. He made 210 in training. Oh, it is a good clean. Speed under that bar is incredible. It's Can he make the jerk? Best clean of his career. Look oh at that. My is he holding word. it? He's done it. He has held it. Marin Robu. Marin makes Robu. the lift. He moves into seventh. What a fighter. What an incredible performance from Robu. He just leaped Five for six. Carapetian. And we said that Carapetian was safe. He just, le he just leaped him. Unbelievable. Now for the first time, shout it out for Carlos. Massa. Huge performance. That is just staggering. Here's Nassar opening at one oh, or 208. This is a heavier opener than we've seen him take traditionally. Oh my god, the music in this building is just something else. The crowd are on their feet. Uh, such an extraordinary I could tell you that here. it's been exactly nine minutes since he last touched a barbell. Big good clean. Played. He almost always recovers forward in the jerk. He does that, but it's easy. He gets it to arms length. Solid opening lift it's for him. A problem. That's an absolutely incredible lift. Lotus, 209 kilo on the bar for automatic. Okay, it's a very, very strong opener there. Carlos Sartre, of course, leaps into first place with 378 kilos. That's four kilos ahead of uh, Petra Sayana. So, sorry, it's 14 kilos ahead of Petra Sayana. Uh, and it's uh, six kilos ahead of Marin Robu. So 210 kilos now. A monster opener yeah, for big, Antonino Pizzolato. Big clean and jerk here. This puts him into the silver medal position. That clean. He's looking dizzy. Okay. Strong jerk though. Max, I tell you what. He's in this fight. No one's, I, I, I know that he's not got the top end that we've necessarily seen in the past from Carlos or, or Tian Tao, uh, but maybe he does today. But I, what I will say is, uh, and we've not seen an 89 make 210 look like that yet. No, that was very strong. No one's done that. Incredibly the strong. The speed with which he stood that up. You know, Nino probably knows, like, okay, I can't now beat Carlos. I'm six kilos down to the snatch. But what I can do, is I, I might have to go for a world record clean and jerk here. Yeah. And can you imagine if Carlos goes for 224, he hits the world record, he gets the 400, and then Antonino Pizzolatto goes for 225? Well, Pizzolatto can put you some know? pressure on him, that's for sure, right? Yeah. Pizzolatto here has has uh, an opportunity to put pressure on him that could threaten the win. You know, if, if Carlos makes one mistake, it puts a lot of risk into the equation. So. It just two of these athletes now remain, of course. Yeah, Nassar's going 215. They've both got 215 written in. It looks like Carlos might actually go for this. I think I think Nassar's gonna play a little bit more conservative because he yeah. doesn't want to have yeah. any risk here of losing this in this arena. He's got the entire country's hopes on his shoulders here. And he will regularly take enormous jumps from second to third attempt. In fact, at his last competition, when he hit that 223 clean and jerk, he'd only made 211 on his second attempt. He took a 12 kilo jump. This is 
A massive lift for Carlos Nassar. 215 kilos. It's eight kilos under his own world record. Five seconds. Made the clean. That's a good clean. It's, it's not easy, but it is a good lift. He's got the jerk. And he may have just solidified the win there. That's a huge lead he has now. Pizzolato would need 222 kilos to move back ahead of Carlos. I imagine he'll go to 216 now on his second attempt. Bumped up a kilo. Yep. Just so that at the very least he can stay ahead of Carlos in the clean and jerk. These two athletes are so magnificent to watch in tandem. They really bring out the best of each other. Well, the question here is what does Pizzolatto do? Take the 215, the 216, 216 to, to get a lead in the to. clean and jerk, yeah. possibly. It will also, whatever he makes from now, from here on out, uh, Pizzolatto, it changes his ranking. That's true. Uh, he's going to take the 15. Oh, he wants 15 as well. But this is just two kilos shy of his personal best. The weight that, when he hit it, was a new world record. We've not seen him touch this weight in, well, you know, it's been two years now, almost. Yeah. This is a huge lift for Nino. It's so nice clean. Unbelievable. Oh, he. Uh, the, the roar, the cheer from the crowd when he misses that lift is just something you don't see in weightlifting very often. You know, cheering the, uh, yeah. the failure. I mean, if, if Antonio Pizzotto can't make it... Well, here's I the mean, question. I, I tell you that Carlos is going to go 224. Yeah. I tell you that. I think Carlos is going to go up enough that it forces Pizzolatto out. Come to the floor. Come to the floor. Everybody, come to the floor. We have time. Come on. Come on on the floor. Yes, all of you. I'm not sure what the oh, speaker's saying. A oh, a round of applause yeah, for they're, they're buying everyone a little more time. This is actually a, a, a nice tactic from the announcers to sort of delay the starting of that clock. Yeah, they gave yeah. Nino a little bit of extra rest there by yeah, bringing the, bring all of the loaders back on the platform for a round of applause. So Nino's got a two-minute clock. Yep. 2.15. I imagine that's what he wants. Yeah. Which gives Nassar a chance for the world record if he wants to take it, which I think he does. And it moves Nino from sixth to fifth in the world in the rankings. Moves him above uh, uh, Mustafa Javadi, which, interestingly, is the total he made to win the world championships this year. So if, if Anthony Pizzotto makes this, uh, oh, he's bumped up. Yeah, 16. 216. No, Pizzolatto's gone, Pizzolatto's to, 17. gone to 17. That makes... That would move him up even further. That would move him into fourth. Fourth. You know, 217, I believe, is the number he lifted it two is. years ago. Yeah, for the world record. To beat Nassar. It wouldn't do it here. Carlos has indeed written in 224. Yeah. And so, regardless, I imagine, of whether or not Antino Pizzolatto hits this. No, they're changing again. Wow. What are they going to Well, 18 would be a personal record. Yeah. So maybe that's what he wants. He wants yeah, the I added pressure. 222, he's going for the win. Wow. He's this is win. getting wild. 222 kilos. He wants the pressure. And you know what? I wonder if he can clean it. He can stand it up. It's just, will he go under this? This is a this is an incredible move. From what I know of Nino, having spoken to him and his numbers in the gym and everything, I, I don't think he's ever cleaned this. The That's 217 possible. he made, yeah. I think, was the most he's ever made. So this is for the win. Okay, this is huge lift. Uh, 
historic moment in Nina's career, in, I mean, in European weightlifting. This is the one of the heaviest clean and jerks we've ever seen in this category. Well, it will be equal to the second heaviest. This would move him into it. the lead. Oh, He's cleaned it. My word. It's too much. Yeah, it's too much. But you know, the crowd might be cheering, but we have to say, hats what a phenomenal off to attempt! This man, one of the greatest athletes in the sport right now. Yeah. A 222 kilo clean at 89 kilos in body weight. The the courage that this man has shown over the last few years to get back into you know fighting. Yeah. Shape. Well, you know that clean means more than than just. You know, I'm I'm gonna try for the win. That clean means Nino is back. He's here to win. He wants a victory. And we have some. Uh, we got some interesting news here. Is that Colin I see his coach, record, but Carlos, is being instructed by his coach, his coach that he's not gonna take that record. His coach has told him not to do it. We saw him waving his finger at him. He looks no. like he wants it, but. We don't know. We don't know what's going on. Carlos wanted the 224, but the the coaches said otherwise. They said you've you've got the win. You're not doing it. So Carlos yeah. is being congratulated by Team Italy, the athletes, the coaching staff. And uh, wow, you know, I really thought we were going to see it. I didn't expect that. I didn't expect him to not take it. Yeah, that's a. It, it's a shame for the fans, for the spectators. You know, we all wanted to see a 224 attempt. He wrote it in. Yeah. You know, clearly he some he wanted, part of him it. wanted it. We saw Plamen Petrochev walk over and wave his finger, wag his finger yeah. in front of him. No, 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 not today.